Hello and welcome to my first devlog. If you've seen other devlogs, this is probably not going to be like any other ones that you've seen. I'm not going to have like B-roll of my cool looking desk or myself cooking breakfast or anything. I'm not going to edit this at all. It's just going to be me talking and kind of explaining my thought process. So if you're not into that kind of like raw, unedited footage of people sitting and talking, this probably isn't for you. If it is, stay tuned. Um, yeah, this is about me starting to try and make video games again. Um, I'm going to call it like devlog zero point whatever until I actually start making something, I think. And then once I actually start making a game, then that episode will be like devlog one, I guess. Um, so I have tried unity in the past. I'm going to try Godot now. I made like a little, like a crazy taxi kind of prototype game. Very basic in Unity. I made like a really bad platformer starring my dog. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but the coding and stuff really became disheartening and I didn't think that I'd be able to do it. So I kind of gave up on it. And with the recent Unity debacle with their whole pricing scheme and stuff, uh, that kind of got me interested in game dev again. So I thought I would give Godot a try. Uh, I have heard of Godot before. I saw this one guy called DevDuck. Uh, he has a game he's making called Dolphin for a couple of years now. He's got like a super aesthetic channel where he shows off his shrimp tank and stuff. I came across that because I wanted to make like an underwater Stardew Valley at one point, but found that was definitely like outside the scope of what I could do. It would take me years to complete. Um... But that was my first introduction to Godot, I guess. I hadn't heard of it for the, before then. And it kind of seemed like the Linux equivalent of Unity. If Unity is like the Windows, then Godot seemed like the the crappy open source version. But now I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to do that. going to start trying to make games again. I bought the Humble Bundle with the Godot, the Godot developer pack thing. Uh, and I've been working through a couple of those lessons so far. I did like the intro to Godot. There's like four mini projects that I made. And then I did one that was like mini survival 3D kind of thing. I'll show that off in a little bit. That's kind of like my end goal is to make something like that. Um, but before that, I've got another course <clears throat> to make like a vampire survivors type game. And it seems like. The lessons are going to have everything that I need to make a full game in there, like the UI and all the menus and stuff as well. And like the, I don't know, all the like items and power ups and stuff. So I think I'm going to try and make my own custom survivors type game first. And then I'm going to come back and make like my 3D dream game. What's different now? Why have I decided to come back to game dev? It's uh, mostly chat GPT. I asked ChatGPT if it could help me with GDScript and coding in Godot, and it said yes. Uh, so I'm looking forward to allowing it to code for me so I don't have to look stuff up. That was the worst part with Unity, was like literally everything that I wanted to do. I'd have to Google it and then go look through a forum for lines of code to copy and paste. But now that ChatGPT is out, I think it's going to make game dev like 70% easier, so I'm looking forward to trying that. Maybe it's not going to work and this whole thing is going to be a failure, but yeah. Uh, so that kind of left me with a dilemma if I wanted to put this. So I have like a channel where, where I do like Let's Plays in addition to the uh, Chat GPT writing channel. And I didn't know where it would really go, but I think for now I'm going to put it on the Chat GPT channel just because it's kind of more technical and I'm going to be using Chat GPT to hopefully code some of these games. So we'll have some videos where you can like see behind the scenes how to make games in ChatGPT, especially using an engine like Godot, although I'm sure you can probably make basic like Pong and Asteroids type games right in ChatGPT and just export it. But I'm taking the extra time to actually learn an engine and all the UI stuff and then just the coding, I'm gonna get help from ChatGPT afterwards. So uh, 
yeah, let's uh, open up my game so we have something to look at, I guess, here. If I do this, and then I'm going to have to change my scene, and then I'm going to have to uh, change this, change it again because I got the wrong one. There we go. Okay, so it's nighttime right now. So this is one of the projects in the uh, in that pack of Godot tutorials from Humble Bundle. This is the mini survival. So it teaches you how to make like an island with a day-night cycle, and you've got like hunger and health bars and stuff, and they're going down right now. I don't actually have anything to like eat, uh, but yeah, there's. Basically, this is actually a lot like I want the game to look like. This ground is actually like a 3D asset that I imported. So first I'm going to have to learn. There's like a terrain 3D generator thing within. It's like a plugin for Godot that you can get. So I'm going to have to learn to do that and make my big terrain. Because right now, like even this water is part of the terrain. They just made some bumps basically and stretched this whole thing. It's just like a... I don't know, like a static body 3d i think you would call it <coughs> it's got some pre-made rocks and trees that i imported so i'm gonna have to learn some blender to make my own assets unless i want to just use an asset pack i don't know if there's really like a godot store i think i can import some of my old low poly assets that i bought for unity back in the day or i got in bundles and stuff but I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so the point of this game, after I make the Survivor's game, eventually I want to make this game, which is like, it's going to be inspired by a combination of Stardew Valley, Terraria, Minecraft, RuneScape, and Palea, which is the cozy MMO that I've been playing a lot of lately. So uh, the things that I really like about RuneScape and Palea and I guess to a lesser degree, Terraria and Minecraft are like the wood cutting, the fishing, the cooking. So all those kind of like secondary things that you can level up that aren't the combat of the game. I'd really like to make a game that's focused on that kind of stuff. So maybe I'm going to have like mines similar to Stardew Valley, but it'll be more like Stardew, but like it'll be in 3D, hopefully. Unless I give up and go back to 2D because 3D is too hard. We'll have to see. But, uh, yeah, there's going to be, like, chopping down trees, mining for ores. <laughs> and, obviously, you're going to craft a bunch of stuff. There'll be progression like that. Um, what else can you level up? There'll be, like, bug catching and catching different fish, maybe. So, we'll have to make, like, a really good fishing mini game. Uh, I asked ChatGPT to give me kind of, like, a... A, an interesting twist to put on like a life sim farming survival game and it suggested that I make the uh, all the resources sentient which I think is a cool idea so it would add like a slime rancher kind of twist in there like you go to hit the rocks and they scream and run away and then they have like googly eyes or something same with the trees so then you'd have to make kind of short term trade offs you could harvest rocks and trees right away uh, to get resources, or you could, like, I guess, breed them, or, like, befriend them and trade with them to get better resources. <coughs> and then you, you'd have to, like, level up a regular rock to the point that you can get, like, a copper or an iron rock, and then level up the iron rock friendship level. Then you can unlock, like, silver and gold rocks. I don't know how that would work, though. But, yeah, that's my thought. I could call it, like sentient craft or like living world or something or some names that i thought of for it um but yeah that's it i want to eventually make a game that's really centered around like the stuff that you do in games like runescape that aren't the combat basically all the other levels that you can level up maybe even like potion making and stuff like that i don't know then i would need like a magic system afterwards i guess but yeah, this is what I've done in Godot in like the last week or two. I don't know how often I'm going to do these updates periodically, I guess. As long as I'm still actively working on game stuff. Probably when I start that Vampire Survivors thing, once I'm like 
halfway through the course. I think it's got like 17 hours worth of videos, so that's going to take me a while. But when I've got like a, a cool looking prototype that I'm proud of, maybe I'll make a video on that. And then when I start customizing my own version, because ideally I'm going to make the Survivors game a full game that I can actually put on Steam if I'm able to stick through that and if the tutorial is good enough to uh, give me everything that I would need for that. Oh, I thought my health is supposed to be going down too. When the hunger and thirst hit zero, they're supposed to lower the health. Maybe I never did that final step of the course. But anyways, yeah, um, that is about it. If you have any other interesting like hooks or features that you'd like to see in like a Terraria, Minecraft, RuneScape, Stardew Valley type game in 3D, let me know. It's going to be low poly. It's going to probably pretty much like the color scheme. They, well, right now it's solid blue, but during the day it's going to be like vibrant, contrasted colors and low poly art is what I'm going for. There's also that uh, that game Titan Forge that they made a beta for and then they ran out of money or something or they decided that they weren't going to make it. I really like that too, the art and the gameplay. So it might be something like that. If you look up some of the old Titan Forge footage before they started making it realistic when they just had kind of like blocky stuff like this. Um, but yeah, this is my first, I don't even know if this counts as a game dev or if it's just like old man rants about, trying to make video games and not getting very far so far, but we'll see. Maybe this will become like an actual thing. Uh, and if you don't want to see this on the chat GPT channel, cause you're only interested in writing and somehow you've managed to watch to the end, you can still complain and tell me to put this on a different channel if you don't want this here. But if you do like it, be sure to like and subscribe and all that stuff. I'm trying to get up to, a thousand subscribers. I can't believe I'm at 800 already. That's nuts. Uh, I'm hoping to hit a thousand in less than a month. It's still, I'm getting like 10 people a day somehow, even though I'm not really putting out videos. I really gotta research some more concepts for uh, chat GPT writing related videos that I can make for you guys. I've been kind of slacking on that. That would kind of boost things along too. But yeah. All the stuff. Give me ideas in the comments, like, and subscribe. Probably forgot to mention something, but that's it for now. And, uh, yeah, if you like random rambling videos like this, let me know, and I can just talk. But I'll see you later. Bye-bye.